Hello! I'm so excited. We are finally doing it's been requested a drugstore acne coverage routine. I picked up a few things drugstore because I just didn't have. That's why I've been holding off drugstore routine so long. We're doing it. Finally scheduled in some time to get some stuff. We're going to be starting this routine. So obviously moisturize your lips, put on some sunscreen, all that moisture full stuff. I'm going to prime my face with my favorite, favorite drugstore primer. It's the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It just gives perfect dewiness to your skin. Dewiness kind of brings out texture in skin. So if you want to like be extra, extra safe in like covering your acne, most likely you want to stick to matte products. I wear makeup because it makes me feel good. And honestly, I really don't mind the dewiness. I'm just going to be sticking to that. <laughs> As for foundation, my favorite drugstore foundation is the Sonia Kashuk. Sonia Kashuk, maybe a lot of the reason has to do with uh, the brand being my name. <laughs> but no, like this is honestly, I would compare it to the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Pretty much similar, like both are medium coverage. Both of them are satin kind of finishes. Like I personally prefer satin finishes, even though despite having acne, it just makes your skin look a bit more natural. I just take a pump. I'm just going to kind of spread it somewhat evenly. So we're just going to start with one layer because this is not like a full coverage foundation. You might want to layer it up, but if you don't want to stress about like putting on layers of foundation, then a good foundation, like a full coverage foundation, I would totally recommend is the Milani Conceal and Perfect or the Wet n Wild. And I literally forgot I had this foundation. So honestly, I think I'm just going to go in with a layer of this because I know it is full coverage. Again, my problem areas are down here, so you want to definitely uh, stick to this. And again, when you apply foundation, oh yeah, that literally covers up everything. <laughs> I should have just used the one wild, completely acne proof. So good. <laughs> so I'd say use use the Sonia Kashuk on a good skin day. For acne purposes though, wet and wild, it's such a good foundation. I'm on the ears, I really have to put on more self tan. It's just a bit darker, because again, I would usually use self tan. So we're just going to put some down the neck. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my god, this is so dark. But so Self-tan is like one of those things that make me feel so good. If you have not seen my video about seven ways to instantly boost confidence, check that video out because I go in depth about like everything I do, my kind of Sunday ritual. Try to go do it every single Sunday. It just gives you a good start to refreshing the week. I'll link that down below. Oh my gosh, side note. The absolute best vegan coffee creamer I have ever tried. This is not sponsored. I really wish it was because I am obsessed. This is the Coffee Mate Almond Bliss Caramel Flavor. It is so, so good. I'm drinking it right now. And like I just have to say that because I tried it for the first time yesterday I'm already halfway done because I've been drinking coffee or like tea all day every day ever since I got this I love it, but also I don't know if it's a bad thing at the same time I just find all the other vegan coffee creamers I tried They're just like so watery and they're not sweet enough so far. That was the best one I've tried <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do brows. So this was just in my bag I wanted to try this brow product for so 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 long because it looked like it was so easy to use and I already used the Anastasia pomade and I feel like this would be kind of very similar instead of a, like a little container it just comes in a tube this is what it looks like hopefully this is okay i honestly have no idea if this is gonna match me there were samplers but like there weren't any testers to like test it on my eyebrows i'm just gonna put it in the back of my hand i already tested it today in the store i was comparing two that i was stuck between okay sure <laughs> i'm so nervous oh ooh. okay that's actually a pretty good match okay yeah this is like not bad it could be a bit too like chocolatey. It's weird. I feel like my brow hairs are more like gray. I don't know how to explain it. They're like, I think it's a good darkness. I think it's just the shade. Honestly, for the most part though, I feel like, I feel like it's pretty good. This is like so easy to apply. So this is what the brows are looking like. I think the color match is not too bad. Now I have to carve them because they're looking a bit messy. Okay, so I bought a NYX concealer. <laughs> I love NYX. NYX I feel like is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. So I'm going to carve my eyebrows with Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Hopefully it won't be too, too light. It was like, I was testing it on my hand. Like on my hand it was so pale, but then it oxidized a bit darker. So I felt like that it might actually be a good match. It just goes on like super pale though at first and then you have to give it like a couple minutes for it to kind of like set and then it actually looks good. This is in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna put a bit on the back of my hand. 
Woo, this is actually really good. Okay, good. I like this kind of shade. Here's my unibrow <laughs> brows. But they make your eyebrows look so cut. Okay, I'm glad I picked this shade. I was actually gonna go darker, but I actually like the lighter shade look. Wow, this like, again, ever since I started carving my eyebrows, they just look so much better. I'm so sloppy with my eyebrows to begin with. Wow, this is like full coverage too. I didn't even like put on that much I felt. And then we're gonna do eye concealer right now. This does dry down. When I tested it on my hand, it dried down so fast and like it was so hard to get off. So I feel like this would be a really, really like heavy duty, long lasting concealer. It says it lasts 24 hours and honestly, I would not be surprised. I feel like this could even be like waterproof. All right, I'll have all my products and brushes I use linked down below, of course. Now we're going to do my eye concealer. I I always do my concealer last because then I could set my face right away. Okay, so another concealer I really want to try. I'm sensing a lot of Tarte Shape Tape inspiration these days. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. And this is in the shade Classic Ivory. I've never tested this before though because they did not have testers. So I just kind of had to blindly choose and hope for the best. Okay, we're just going to go in and hope for the best. And this also says that it was a creaseless concealer. So I have high hopes for this. I have high expectations. Yeah, this is definitely lighter. Okay, we're just gonna start with that, and I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used to blend out my concealer on my brows. Ooh. Okay, okay. This seems to be a very good shade. It might oxidize though a bit. Oh shoot, it's oxidizing already. Maybe I could have went a bit lighter, honestly. Well, now I know for next time. <laughs> but it still matches nonetheless. That's the thing, it's so annoying when they don't have testers out because then you just have to kind of guess. <laughs> still, it worked. I actually think I'm gonna try just a bit of the NYX one and see if I can brighten up my under eyes a bit more. Dot on each and just see. <laughs> I really like this concealer. I like both concealers. I just think I definitely could have gotten probably a shade lighter than this. But other than that, both of them blended out pretty darn nice. Yeah, dang, these like oxidize. Basically, the shades that you think that you will be, go a shade lighter. <laughs> Cause then it'll oxidize down to like the shade that you actually want. I'm gonna set my under eyes very quickly with my Cody Air Sponge. Translucent powder. Crap ton just went in my tea. And I'm just going to set very generously. <laughs> Cut on the sides of my nose. Little brush, I just go here as well because you cannot get those kind of hard to reach areas uh, with the big face setting brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this and then set the rest of my face more, more faster. And again, I'm very like generous with my powder <laughs> because I want it to last all day. Especially, it kind of adds additional coverage. Down the neck. I kind of let my under eyes bake a bit. Then I brush it away. Nose. Okay, in the bottle, they look so light, see? But like, when you put them on, they're just like, that's crazy. So I'm just gonna brush out the brows, just in case if I got powder in them. And then, so I'm gonna put on some bronzer. So I'm just gonna put on the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is like the classic butter bronzer. I'm going to use this because I really, really love Physicians Formula. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling so tan. <laughs> it just doesn't match the rest of my body though, so I gotta be fake tanning now after this. So for blush, one of my favorite all-time blushes are from Essence. I totally lost the cap, called the Satin Soft Blush in the shade Satin Love. This is what it looks like, you can like zoom in on that. And it's like the most beautiful, beautiful shade, because it's not too pink. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. There's a word for it. What's the shade? Because it's not like a pinky blush, right? It's not like that typical pink blush. It's like a kind of a mixture of something. I don't know. Beautiful, beautiful color. Nah, I even know. Anyway, <laughs> it's a very, very, very nice blush. The highlighter I will be doing is Sleek Makeup. I feel like Sleek's highlighters are so, so, so amazing. This is the palette Solstice, and I'm just gonna be using uh, this shade right here, this little champagne shade. I love it so much. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, I already put on too much. Like if you again want like a pop and highlighter, I always end up putting way too much. Like again, this is like the most blinding highlighter I've ever tried in my life. And it just happens to be drugstore, which is amazing. I don't think they sell it. it like I had to get this online. I think it's a UK brand, I believe. But like, oh my gosh, once you get it though, like this is literally like the best highlighter ever. Drugstore. Like I don't think anything is more blinding than this highlighter. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that a bit. Again, if you put highlighter on, just make sure if you have a lot of texture here it's gonna bring it out but again if that is your problem area then I would say just put highlighter like Cupid's bow everywhere else that will kind of draw attention away from that oh shoot I forgot my Cupid's bow beautiful 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 highlighter I think I'm just gonna be doing my eyes this is the last thing I got because I didn't run out I think this just dried out because I have like a big crack in my I can't see it but this is the NYX matte liquid liner of course this is literally the best liquid liner I've ever tried in my whole life I swear by it I swear my life on this being the best liquid liner because it's not even just the color that's super dark just the quality how it stays so long and also the control that you have my liner always comes out so flawless and like I consider myself bad at liner. <laughs> so if I can do liner, then you could definitely do liner. It really just matters honestly what liner you use. I mean, obviously you should practice, but I mean, but like this applicator though, like it's so, so, so thin. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna quickly do my liner. And don't blink. <laughs> like it literally makes the thinnest line. It's so good. Nice. It's like a cute liner. I wanna go too crazy with my liquid liner, my cat eyes today. I unfortunately do not have any eyeshadow palettes that are drugstore. Yeah, like I have some eyeshadow palettes, drugstore palettes that are on the way. So I'm gonna have to make another video, drugstore video. They just didn't come in in time. So that's why we don't have eyeshadow today. <laughs> I made a little oopsie. <laughs> I blinked. Seriously, it's so, 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 so hard for me to not blink. I'm just horrible. <laughs> Thank goodness though, we got concealer by our side. I just want to clean up a bit of this. Just sharpens it up so much. Do that on both just because, again, I just love the look. And we're just going to blend it down. Add more powder. I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush to set up here. Blend everything out. <laughs> there we go. Brush it away now. I just love the look of wing eyeliner. It just like just looks so good. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly curl and put on some mascara. The mascara I'm gonna be using is from Essence, is called Big Lashes Volume Boost, and this is waterproof. If you were to wear this mascara on its own, I would probably put two or three coats of this just because it doesn't add too, too much volume, I find. But if you put on like a few coats of this, then I feel like it would look just as good as like my It Cosmetic, wherever that is, my superhero mascara I love. <laughs> I quickly put on these false lashes that were like 12 bucks for a pack of five. It's so cheap. I got them on Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. Honestly, I don't know if I could find them, but I'm just gonna use this Duo Lash Glue. And these are my favorite part because I feel like Lashes, they just, oh my gosh, lashes just make me feel so good. I Honestly, yeah, like quality of everything is literally flawless, like on point. The only thing, again, I would say is like shade, I'd probably go even a bit lighter because again, I like the highlighted effect. I personally like the highlighted look under my eye and like my brows and stuff, so. We gotta get the two lash now. Man, those people in my apartment, like the people above me are cranking up those like nursery rhymes or something. There's like kids over, I, I think. <laughs> okay, so. We got two lash. Okay, now the lip products we are gonna be using today. My favorite, well, one of my favorites. Of course, I love my NYX lip lingeries, but I feel like I use that in every single video, so I'm gonna switch it up for a little bit. My camera, it overheated, so I had to wait for a little bit, so I'm just uh, hanging out. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna use Wet n Wild. This is in the color Rebel Rose. This is like my favorite color. Well, one of my favorite. What, what kind of color is this? It's seriously the tip of my tongue. It's similar to like this kind of color. It's like a I don't know what the heck I'm thinking of. Honestly, I have no idea. Anyway, <laughs> again, it's like not pink. It's like kind of a mixture between pink and purple. It's like a nice rosy. I don't know. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's like, again, your lips, but better. 
Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my gosh. I never had one of these in so long and I remember why. You keep burping. I'm gonna be putting another liquid lipstick. This is a metallic lip from Wet n Wild. If you're not a fan of lip gloss, but you want that really nice glossy kind of look, this literally fakes it. Because if you're going out to eat, you don't want gloss. The color comes off of your lips so much faster when you apply gloss over top of whatever you are trying to do. So this literally just gives the illusion again that your lips are like glossy. I just put the center. And it's like, see? It literally looks like I just applied lip gloss, which is awesome. You go out to eat and it literally will not budge because again, it is matte. But for the heck of it, I will be applying a lip gloss anyway because I love lip gloss. But this is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine. This is a really, really good gloss. It's called Bright On. So it gives a really nice, even glossier look. Ooh. I just love the look again of gloss. It just makes your lips look so much more plump and awesome. The thing we will be doing is just setting the face and that will be that. Oh yeah, also follow my Spotify playlist down below. Follow that playlist because I'll be dropping my tunes on that playlist for sure and letting you all know again when I do release music. And comment down below also, comment down below also what you want to hear from me because obviously know like what my viewers want to listen to because music is just like so awesome and I want you all to enjoy it once I do release it. So anyway, I digress. It just again blends everything together and just makes everything so flawless looking. So just brush, brush, brush. I just like brushing out my curls because they make it look so much more natural. I kind of got rid of like all the curls. <laughs> At least my hair is wavy. I'm probably gonna curl it again now. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes when you brush out your hair, like the curls just go away. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway, this is the final look. So uh, yeah, 100% drugstore. I hope you all enjoy. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I post every Sunday and Thursday. Like this video because I think the YouTube algorithm likes it so uh, that'll help me out in the channel out a lot. And yeah, I again am very satisfied with literally everything I've tried today. I'm like super picky when it comes to drugstore makeup so if I like it, I like it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> with that being said, I hope you have a good day good night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace. <laughs>